I, I've got a, a funny story here that I'll, that I'll tie in. So I was working at Vanderbilt in the physics department. They were studying, we, we were studying why the tail of the space shuttle, so there, I'm dated because of that, why the tail of the space shuttle would glow green, right? Nobody, the green is oxygen, but how is oxygen leaving the tail of the space shuttle in space? So long story short, we're, we're in the lab and there's all this high vacuum equipment and there's 20 different scientists in there and everybody's focused and all of a sudden something smokes, right? And, and everybody... Like, oh my God, what just happened? The experiment, every minute counts. 19 engineers, 19 PhDs ran over to a whiteboard and started drawing circuits and debating with each other. And one mad scientist over in the corner kept soldering and, and turning the switch and pop and solder and turn the switch and pop. And the, the scientists over here, at some point they exclaim, oh, it's the xenodiode, right? And in the meantime, the other guy's like, this is pop, this is pop, right? Within, within eight or nine minutes, the, the one guy in the corner went over to the other guys and said, hey, hey guys, it's working. <laughs> and they all turned around and said, how could it possibly work? We haven't told you the value to use yet. And the, he said, look, we only had 20 possible values to try, and it was number six, right? So, so this, is, this is what we, in the AI world, this is what we call the scruffy approach to AI, right? It means, it means that, that you, know, you don't have an infinite number of possibilities. You can't wrangle, uh, you can't wring your hands forever. You've just got to try stuff. And without that one guy that you're talking about, or gal that you're talking about, Jim, that's in charge of this, you're never going to be able to make those quick decisions to move forward. It's yeah. so critical and so important to have that, that one person that's accountable, that understands, that takes responsibility and reacts quickly to stay current with all this stuff that's going on to keep the, the Zener diode dialogue out of the picture and make the thing actually come up and work. So I just have to ask, Mike, were you on the whiteboard or were you the mad scientist with the soldering? I, I was getting the smoothies. 